Today I'm going to be making some zucchini rolls and what I've got here is some cheese that I'm going to be putting in the rolls. Now cashew cheese is what I'm going to be using and cashews is not something that I eat year round. It's sort of a holiday thing. It works great for certain recipes and for this recipe it's delicious, it's simple and this is going to be kind of like an appetizer or a meal. So for me, I usually use it for a meal, but I've also used it before as an appetizer. And even people that aren't raw, vegan, have liked this recipe. So what I'm using uh, to start is three-fourths a uh, cup of cashews. I'm going to put those into the Vitamix. And what I'm going to add to that is some nutritional yeast because this is what's going to give it the cheesy taste. I'm going to use about maybe a little over a tablespoon of that and I'm going to use about maybe a fourth a teaspoon of some Himalayan pink salt and I'm going to put just a little bit of lemon to that and we are going to be adding water but we just want to add a little bit of water at a time. We don't want to add too much at once because we really don't want this to be too thick or too thin. We don't want it to be runny because it's going to be going into a roll and it needs to be kind of uh, stable. So, this has turned out to be the exact consistency that I like it. It's not real thin and it's rock not real thick. And I also want to mention to make sure that whenever you make cashew sauces or anything like that that you soak them for at least an hour. I like to soak it for about four hours. It's better on your digestion and it's also a lot better for the recipe. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of chopped parsley and you don't have to add chopped parsley. I just like to and I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder and then I'm just going to mix that up and I'm going to set it aside. The recipe isn't really a sauce, it's more of like a tapenade. So what I'm going to be using is sun-dried tomatoes. These are probably about 10 sun-dried tomatoes. I don't always do it in the Vitamix, sometimes I just do it in my little magic bullet. But for this recipe, because I've already had this set up, I figured I'd use this, the Vitamix, and I'm going to be using one chopped tomato. Usually I put little cherry tomatoes, but they didn't have any at the grocery store. And this is just a three ingredient simple thing. I'm just going to put a little bit of lemon in that also, like I did in the cashew sauce, and turn on the Vitamix. So this has turned out great. This is exactly the way I want it. I don't want it to be real runny because we're going to be placing this on the top of the zucchini rolls. And this is just a three part recipe. So I'm going to set this aside and then we're going to chop the zucchini rolls. Part three of the recipe, I should actually say it's uh, that there's a four part recipe because
but my appetite Don't leave me in line dry Have a wonderful, blessed day.